everybody. How the devil are you doing there? Nigel Streeter here from Interact Communication Connection, here with my good friend and colleague, who we're going to be doing this podcast on a regular basis with, Robin, who will introduce herself now. Hello, everybody. As Nigel said, my name is Robin, and my business is Wild Wellbeing. And I support people around getting back to their inner nature through connecting with outer nature and living, as it says at the bottom here, the best way, because the best way is your way. The purpose of this podcast or the introduction to this podcast, this is the very first one that we've actually done, is to emphasize that there are many, many ways of getting to the same point in relation to your positive uh, well-being. So what we're saying is that uh, you have to hold the right hand in relation to the sort of person that you work with who you can gel with, who you can sort of come and uh, develop some sort of partnership with so that you get the best results for yourself. Because if I, like Robin has just explained her perspective, mine is slightly different in as much as I try and do things from very sort of realistic, more, I don't like to say the word mechanical, more sort of uh, an organized way in relation to how you can be given help and advice relatively simple straightforward help and advice on and that's done very deliberately that you can understand and that you can put in place to control the way that you think about things and minimize the amount of pressure that's on your shoulders so the purpose of us doing this together is the fact that we do come from slightly different roads but we're both very passionate about getting to the same point achieving the same aims and very much the two of us were both looking at how to support people to find their best way because when we follow our own inner guidance that's the thing that really works for us if we're listening to somebody else and their advice their advice is probably great for them in their situation and we can take bits and pieces of that but it's what works for us as an individual that's the thing that we're trying to get to the nub of because that's the thing that's going to support the person themselves I think it's fair to say that we haven't really seen all that many people, if any, doing this sort of similar thing, because people tend to go and do podcasts, tend to put stuff online in relation to what I always call their way, you know? And I've always been an advocate of the fact is there's no the way, there is only your way, there's the best way for you. And if you can find that hand to hold, I think you've probably taken the first five strides on this longer journey. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I'm thinking that rather than putting up barriers, I'm talking about knocking down barriers so that you can make that progress. And instead of narrowing down, opening wider. Yeah. And it, when you talk about that hand to hold, it can be that hand to hold for now, for this step. And then on the next step, it might be something else. Because for me, it's like putting together a jigsaw puzzle or a recipe. It's one thing and then it's another thing, it's another thing. They don't all come from one place. So you might have this ingredient coming from that shop and another ingredient coming from another shop or this piece of the puzzle coming from over here and another piece of the puzzle coming from over there. And it's how we as the individual put those together that creates our recipe, our picture, that's going to be different from everybody else's. I've literally just thought something on the top, top of my head. It's like building your own progress. I've never thought of it that way before until this very yeah. moment, actually. Building your own progress. I like that. That's quite nice. What, and just to say that in the future, what we're going to be talking about well-being, we're not going to be talking about, per se, mental health. We're not going to be talking about physical well-being. We're going to be talking about well-being as a holistic thing, as anything that could be considered to be a way of you improving the way that you think about things, the way that you function, um, the way that you actually go about your life in the best possible way. You know the expression they have, have your best life? I think that's an aspiration that we have. That's a biggie, right? That's a bit large, you know, live your best life. But the point being is that we're not here to do this for you. We're here to do this with you. And I think that I'm very wary of people online who actually turn around and say, you know, give me lots of money and I'm going to sort this out for you sort of thing. Whereas I think that we should be here 
to hold people's hand. I mean, I keep using that expression. I've said it about two or three times now, but to me, that is hugely important. Giving the people that support, giving that people that backup and giving them the confidence, like a little pat on the back and saying, it's okay. Or as, as in my previous life, it's okay to say, which was a project I was running not so long ago because I believe in the power of talk, the, the power of conversation. And also holding a hand and shining a light because we have what we need inside of us. We have those resources, but often we don't see them for ourselves. It yeah. can take an outsider's perspective to see them in us or we feel we don't have access to them. So shining a light can help us to see them, can help us to access them and therefore help us to put them into practice. And that is the creation, the building blocks of the best way for us as an individual, that best life. Absolutely, yeah. So I, I suppose at this particular point, we will be doing this on a regular basis. We haven't quite worked out exactly when it's going to be at the moment, but we will be doing it on a regular basis and we will be looking from contributions from yourself, if possible, in relation to your thoughts and your ideas. Uh, this is a conversation. This is not just myself and Robin sitting here and talking at you. This is about what you think you need, what you think is interesting, what do you need to be that helping hand to make to help you make that progress, how we can work together with you. I'm, I'm very excited about this. I think it's something which is pretty different to what we've seen before. So what we're looking to do is we're looking to help you to be the best that you can be and to, uh, I'm, trying, I'm trying to think of the word, uh, uh, not inspirational, not, um, I, I, don't, I don't know, help me out here, Robin, what am I thinking of? For me, it's, it's creating this image of our lives sometimes feel like a canvas in shades of gray. Whereas I think what we are aiming to do is bring color into that, bring it alive. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, bring it and to I life. Think, I like that. I think as well, we're looking for not just people's thoughts and opinions and topics that they're interested in, but any questions. Because I think many of us walk around with a lot of well-being questions. We're bombarded with information 24, 7, 3, 6, 5, But a lot of it can appear contradictory or we're not quite sure we, we've heard a piece of information but how do we put it into practice in our own life so yeah. i think any questions around that sort of thing uh, any topics that you'd be interested to hear us discuss and as you say nigel it's a conversation so we're very much hoping for your part in that as well that you will contribute excellent thank you very much uh... We will, like I say, we will be doing this on a regular basis. Please, please do make your contributions if you think it's appropriate. Observations, ideas, opinions. You can even have, give us some feedback as long as you're polite. Right? It's nice to be nice. No, no expletives, right? But apart from that, we're very, very much interested in your thoughts and what you think about what we're doing. Thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye. Speak to you soon.